another day, another game. RJB back at it again with another replay from the huge replay vault of Korean replays on fastest map. And in this game we have Zealot on spot number 7 up against Insung on spot number 11. Insung is playing the blue Protoss and Zealot is playing, of course, as his name suggests, the purple Protoss. Um, let's see what they're going to do. 7-9 pylon out for Zealot. And Insung decides to go for an 8-9 pylon instead, which I personally prefer more. And there it is. There's the pylon. Sends the probe back to the minerals. Now they're just going to wait for either minerals for a gateway or a nexus. It's really a, a coin flip. You never know what they're going to do. You know what they're going to do, but there's like five options. It goes for the gateway first. Sends out the probe to scout. And Insung. Will he go for the double gateway or will he go for the nexus? He goes for the nexus. No double gateway. Might be a little bit risky against a 7-9 pylon followed by a gateway from Zealot. So if Zealot scouts this pretty early, he might be able to put some um, some punishment down onto Insung's probes. There's the nexus. I'm gonna follow that up with a double or a single gateway. And there's the gateway. And he goes for the double gateway. He's waiting for the minerals. Yes, there's a double gateway. And here is the nexus for Zealot. So a plus one nexus. It's going to boost up that economy a little bit. And there's the, the gas simulator for Insung. Insung throws down another pylon. Sends out Zealot the scout. And... This probe is just going to do a little bit of harassing. Pew pew, there it goes, shoots down the probe, runs away, can't kill it, losing HP itself. So now he's, there's another, there's a forge for Insung. There's the gas for Zealot. There's the Cybernetics core for Zealot. You can see that Insung is technically ahead just by a little bit. There's another assimilator. Probe trying to take down another probe again. But Insung is fighting off this little probe really well. And there it is, attacking again. Another Zealot is coming in. First Zealot, actually. A Zealot from Insung has just finished. And they spot each other. He pulls his Zealot back to fight this Zealot off so he doesn't lose any drones. There's a cannon put down. And he manages to catch the Zealot. But the Zealot then walks around the cannon and manages to go and hit the probe. A single probe. Dies, sadly. Another probe. Nope, just a single probe died right there. Cannon finishes, Cybernetics Core finishes. On Zealot's side, the Cybernetics Core is also finished. Two gas are on the way. Insing is on a single gas. Insing adds another cannon. He's about to add a robotics facility, I think. Oh, yes, an assimilator first. I wonder what he's going to follow that up with. Meanwhile, inside Zealot's base, a robotics facility. A Citadel of a Dune, another pylon, a cannon is put down. A bunch of zealots from Insung walking over the middle. This gets found by a zealot from Zealot. And the probe sent back into Insung's base. A little zealot here harassing the Citadel of a Dune. Two dragoons are going to come out and are going to take down the zealot before it can kill the Citadel of a Dune. There's a robotics facility coming out for Insung, and Insung has added a Tempoise archive. And here are Vor Zealots. They're gonna look for an opening. They find an opening. They walk in. They're gonna try to take down the cannon, but they get blocked by the zealots. And three zealots get access to the cannon. And the probes take the the, the probes bugging into the zealots, taking the zealots off. But the cannon goes down anyway. But the cannon just finishes, and Insung pulls back his zealot. It's three zealots for a single cannon. Might be worth it. Nobody knows. There's a robotic support bay. A shuttle is being constructed. Templar's archive is finished. It's making a dark Templar, adding a gateway, adding another gateway. And two dragoons are going to try to harass Zed a little bit. Meanwhile, a Templar's archive is being made for Insung. Another gateway is put down. Another gateway is put down. And he's starting shuttle speed upgrade. That's by uh, Zealot, not Insung. Zealot is starting a shuttle speed upgrade. And he's also starting a storm upgrade. And these two Dragoons are going to try to do some damage. 
a little bit of harass. He's hitting the gateway, but the Dark Templar comes out. He notices the Dark Templar is out. No, he notices he notices it a little bit late. Loses half HP on his Dragoon, pulls back his Dragoons. The gateway finishes. Reaver, no, no Reaver is being constructed. Instead, he's making another shuttle. And he's making two Templars. He's going for a Templar drop. Pretty quick one at that. Instinct has also started a Psionic Storm upgrade. He's adding more pylons as a skeleton so we can build gateways there. He's on a four gateway pump. He's making two storms, uh, two Templars. He's going to pick those Templars up with the shuttle once they finish. Putting two, no, he's putting a single Zealot in the shuttle. He might put this one in there too. He has started, finished an observatory. There's a Dark Templar. He's going to hunt a Pylon. Not going to kill the Dragoons. I would have killed the Dragoons personally. He's going for the Pylon. No, it's a cannon. Oh, I was wrong. Going for the cannon was way smarter than going for the Dragoon. Kill it. Detection. Now he can kill the Pylon. Drop is flying over. I'm not sure if Zealot saw that shuttle leaving the base. Robotic support bay has finished. Another Pylon. Another Pylon there. More Pylons being constructed. Meanwhile, Zealot is sending out a drop. He's lift, uh, loading up another drop. He's going to send two drops at the same time. There's a drop coming in from Insung. Will Zealot respond to it in time? Zealot should have seen the drop. No, he doesn't see the drop. He pulls his probes off the gas and dodges them. And a storm comes down and he kills one probe. Twelve probes with the other, uh, with the other uh, Templar. That's a pretty good hit. But we're going to be seeing two drops flying into Insung's base in response in just a little bit. He has two Dragoons to snipe a shuttle, but he's not going to be able to snipe both shuttles with just two Dragoons. And there comes the drop, the first drop, and he sees it. He pulls his probes off, but he splits his probes up, and he gets a good storm off, but those both storms completely miss. But another drop coming in, and ooh, he hits 14 probes, and the other uh, Templar died, so we didn't see how many that one killed. But it looks like he lost about 20 probes to that. Those two storms, that's got to hurt his economy a lot. But despite that, they're about on even uh, psi count. And it looks like Zealot is in a little bit of a bitter, uh, better sp uh, spot than Insung is in right now. So another drop is flying out. And here's an observer coming out for Insung. Another drop has been loaded up. There's no Zealots in there, so there's no distraction from the cannons. Oh, he's going to try to distract from the cannons with these Dragoons. The Dark Templar and the Zealot that he's sending out. A Zealot scouts Insung's units. And he's finishing up his skeleton of a base. And like another gas. And there's the drop. It's going to remain hidden for now. It's going to fly in behind these Dragoons. But meanwhile, a drop is coming in in Insung's base. Insung dots his shit. And there's a storm coming out. And a storm kills about nine probes. In the meantime, Insung is now back to controlling his attack. It's going to fly this drop in, but there's no distraction. It isn't getting focused down. Oh, he decides to storm the Dragoons instead. He's not going for the drop on the Minerals. I would have gone for the drop on the Minerals, but he looks like he thinks he can get it done. He's just distracting, storming the Dragoons again, but doing very minimal damage. He decides to pull back with absolutely no damage dealt to his opponent. Aside from two cannons that were taken down in Zealot's base, a lot of idle probes at... Zealot's Nexuses, and he finally decides to put them to work. Dragoon's now in the middle, another drop coming in. This time he does have Distraction Zealots in there to take focus off the Templars by the cannons. He's slowly trying to rebuild, but he's very broke. He's 30 Psy behind on uh, Zealot, and the drop is now flying in. Zealot notices it, tries to target it down, but Zealots get dropped out and the storm comes out and a storm gets 13 probes and another storm comes out and his storm gets seven probes and ooh, now they're almost about even again although i do assume that uh, zealot is still ahead in probe count he also has more units out on the map bases are about of equal size although zealot has way more gateways but he can't pump from those gateways anymore because he just lost almost all of his there's a lot of probes so his income is down but the upside of having so many Dragoons out is that it's way easier to snipe drops that are coming in manually so you don't have to rely on your cannons. And cannons will get distracted by Zealots if there's a Zealot in the shuttle and the Zealot gets dropped out. Here's positioning his Dragoons to intercept drops. These Dragoons also position to intercept drops. But instead of dropping, 
he's going to try to no he's not going to try to drop instead of dropping a zealot is just going to attack and see if Insung has been damaged sufficiently for him to take down and kill or maybe just do a lot of damage so he can uh, snowball his lead over him because right now he has 27 supply lead over Insung. Insung is on the hind foot there's a drop coming in but a drop gets spotted by these pylons that Insung just put out as a buffer zone so he can see it in uh, zealot decides to change the course of his drop he's now attacking taking down zealots taking down cannons and Insung is dodging his probes preemptively which is also costing him income and he gets a storm off anyway and he kills um, i think maybe two probes that's a really good situation that's a really good win for Insung. but in the meantime Insung has lost all of his units in his base He's now getting pushed in by these raccoons, and more units are going to come walking in. There's another drop that's being loaded up inside Zealot's base, now being sent to Insung's base. And Insung is now getting microed. He doesn't have Zealot speed because he couldn't afford it. His raccoons just dancing back. A storm comes out on the raccoons, but now a storm is going to come out on his minerals. And these. Oh, and he gets three probes die, but he's got another storm in it. He's going to wait, and he's not going to storm a second time. But nonetheless. Insung is pretty much dead at this point. He doesn't have the income to produce any more units of significance. He's just going to get Zealots out and the Zealots are going to get focused down by the Dragoons. And Insung loses the game to Zealot. Not a very, uh, quite an intense game. A lot of stuff going on. A lot of very drop centric. And pretty poor dodges at some times. But also pretty good storms at other times. I really think that if... Um, like back, at, I think it was around seven minutes or eight minutes when Insung was attacking. I really wish he would have gone for uh, sending those Templars. Like, yeah, these Templars he had here. I, would, I really wished he would have sent those and tried to drop Zealot instead of storming the Dragoons. It really feels like a wasted opportunity from him. Like, he could have just walked his Dragoons in a little bit deeper and then flown the shuttle in and stormed these probes. He decided not to do it. I really think that was the turnaround of the game because his attack ended up completely wasted. And you can't afford to waste units and minerals that you've invested into an attack like that because it just means that if the enemy gets off a good attack or a good drop, they're going to have a net gain over you. You're going to snowball, you're going to get further ahead, a bigger base, more units, more workers. It's going to be bigger, snowball more, and if it's easier for them to hit again, it's hard, becoming harder for you to defend. And the game just snowballs and rolls out of control, like it did here. Insing has to throw in the towel at 11 minutes. And thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the game. I enjoyed it. And uh, hasta la vista.